Hi Taurus, this is your April love and relationship reading. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Okay, Taurus, so while I was sitting here meditating over you guys' cards and pre-shuffling, the card that came out of the deck in reverse is trust. I'm going to turn it around to read it. It says, they trust your actions, feel they can depend on you. Don't doubt your intentions. Okay, you received this card in the reverse. Okay, so it's just the opposite. I feel like you don't trust this person. You don't know what their intentions are. Um, I feel like some of you want to give this person another chance, but you're not sure if, you're sh if you should. And the reason why is because of cheating. Third party or acting single, engage in suspicious activities. Trust has been broken. We also have... Highs and lows, lack of consistency, full of drama, more lows than highs. So I feel like because of this person's track record with you, because of the issues and the problems that this person has taken you through, they haven't shown much love to you. They're vibrating low. I feel like this person doesn't come around um, and act like they want this connection. Maybe you guys don't go out a lot. You don't spend time together. You're always looking for them. When you text them, they don't text you back. It's like you really don't know where you stand with someone. And even if this was their past behavior, I feel like someone may be coming around to apologize and say that they're sorry, but you may not believe them. So I feel like some of you are going to have a hard time accepting someone's apology. I feel like someone may be trying to apologize to you this month or make up with you because we have forgiveness, ability to process the pain, able to put the past behind you, having a positive perspective, and then we have acceptance, valuing their differences, accepting the good and the bad, loving them fully. I feel like someone is ready to put in the energy and love you fully, but you don't get it it's like you don't understand because i feel like some of you are questioning this energy with this person you're like why now okay um why has things changed and i feel like this person's not able to tell you so you're, you're trying to figure out if this is a legit um apology or if you should really forgive this person or if this is just another tactic and this person is going to try to get you to forgive them, accept their apology, and then a couple of couple of months down the line, they're going to be right back at their normal behavior. So I feel like a lot of you are struggling with that this month, okay, or you will be, and you just don't see it coming yet, okay? So let's jump into your reading. Let me just see if I can control this sage a little bit because it it's about to burn out of control. Now, when I wanted this sage to burn out of control earlier, it wouldn't, and now... It seemed like it is. Okay. All right. So let's see what the universe has to say. Spirit, what? Oh, oh my goodness. So the universe has a lot to say, Taurus. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? What messages do you have for Taurus? It's like something wants to come out, but somebody is stubborn. Yeah. So you're healing. You have the Four of Swords. Some of you are getting over something or dealing with something and you're keeping it to yourself. You're very stubborn about the situation. Oh, yeah. Yeah, some of you have made a judgment call on something. You can't make it up. Oh, my goodness. You have the nine of swords. Worry, fear, anxiety. You have judgment. I feel like you finally taking you finally taken back your energy from this person. It wasn't easy. I feel like it was hard. It could have been years that this happened. Okay, so whatever was taking place, it could have been years. It could have been months. However, I feel like the energy was very heavy for you. With this four swords, could have been with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. We also have the nine of swords here and with the judgment card. Um, I just feel like, um, yeah, <laughs> you're like, okay, I can't do this anymore. I can't feel like this anymore. Okay, I don't understand this person. Um, what do they want with you? What do they want with this connection? It's like, why, you know, I, I feel like somebody is playing a lot of games and you're like, why even keep me in your energy or in your life like what do you want from me like why do you keep doing this i feel like someone runs in and out of your life it's like it doesn't make sense to you and you're like no anything moving forward has to make sense or i'm not dealing with it so i feel like because the situation doesn't make sense taurus you may be thinking about giving it up yeah so we have the king of cups we have the ace of pentacles 
and we have the star card. So there's wish fulfillment here, the Ace of Pentacles, a brand new start. So the universe is gifting you something here. For some of you, this could be money. This could be just a brand new start elsewhere with a new person and with the King of Cups. Um, I just feel like you're very emotional about the situation because you did not want to leave something behind. You tried to make something work, but I feel like the universe has... Um, other plans for you some of you could be dealing with an aquarius or an earth sign verbal Taurus, capricorn we also have water here cancer pisces scorpio there's a new beginning definitely coming for you though with the ace of pentacles spirit what messages do you have for taurus what messages do you have for taurus oh okay some of you are working extremely hard on something here with the Eight of Pentacles. Oh, we have the Sun. So some of you could be dealing with the Leo. I feel like you're going to have more than one choice because you have the Ace of Swords. You have the Ace of Pentacles. You're going to have new love here. For some of you, it's going to be with the Leo. Okay? And I feel like you've been working on this connection with this person, but it's moving forward slowly. Or you guys are taking your time with something. For some of you, it could be a project that you're working on that's going to make you very happy um it's going to be very abundant and then we have the ace of swords so there's some clarity being brought to your life or this situation for some of you it's love and for others of you i feel like it could be um a work related situation spirit what messages do you have for taurus what messages do you have for taurus you have the queen of swords some of you are cutting someone off i feel like you're cutting this person off because you gave them more than one chance i feel like for some of you this person has had several chances to actually get themselves together or to act like they want this connection some of you could be dealing with a libra a gemini or an aquarius spirit what messages do you have for cars Yes, we have the temperance energy here, and we have the five of pentacles. Somebody wants to bring you out of the cold. It could be an earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn, such as yourself, or a Sagittarius. They want to balance something out, and I feel like you're questioning it. You may be feeling like, why now? Like, why should I believe you now? You play games for so long. Spare, what messages do you have for Taurus? What messages do you have for Taurus? Oh, Okay, I don't know what that was. It slid on the floor. Give me one second, Taurus. Yeah, you don't trust the situation. You have the Four of Cups. And I feel like you're up in your head about something. You're rejecting someone's cup or you're just, you don't see why you should accept it. And this person that's offering you this cup is feeling like they're going to have a missed opportunity with you. We have the Hermit here and we have the Ten of Cups. This is what they want. I feel like somebody was in Hermit mode for quite some time. Some of you could have been dealing with a Virgo. We also have Cancer Pisces Scorpio here with the Ten of Cups and the Four of Cups. I feel like someone doesn't want to have a missed opportunity. They know that you're a good catch. You're a good person. Um, and it's like as soon as they let go or walk away they know that somebody else is waiting somebody else is just going to come along and just scoop you right up because somebody is waiting for you to walk away i feel like some of you are dealing with two people like someone is waiting for you to walk away from someone else or end it with someone else and i feel like your person knows it they know it spirit what messages oh. Okay, so this wanted to fly out of the deck when I was shuffling the Ace of Wands. Okay, so so far you have the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and you have the Three of Pentacles. Somebody wants to make something work with you really bad, Taurus. Really bad. Could be a fire sign for some of you or an earth sign. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? What messages do you have for Taurus? Oh. Yeah, there's a change here. We have the tower and we have the lovers. There's a decision that's being made, okay? And I feel like the universe is pushing your person to make this decision. Now, if this is not your person, then this could be you feeling this way, Tara. So take it how it resonates, flip and reverse the roles as need be. But there's a tower situation here. Some of you could be dealing with the Scorpio. We also have Gemini energy here. Two major arcanas. So basically, you know, when you have major arcanas, it's like the universe has already spoken about the situation. Um, and this is what's to come. 
So there's a decision being made here. And I feel like for some of you, it's from your person. I feel like you're still in your head about what you want because you can't trust this person. But they know what they want now. And I feel like they could have sabotaged the situation in the past. Um, they could have been dealing with someone else, just didn't take you serious. You know, just taking you for granted. And now that you're ready to walk away or now that you have walked away, I feel like this person is afraid that um, they've lost you. You've changed. You're not the same person. Yeah. So we have the Queen of Wands here. Also, this person sees that you're very ambitious. You have a lot going for yourself. It's like when you're in this Queen of Wands energy, you look really good to this person. Okay. See, this person's on fire. <laughs> Basically, like in a good way. It's not reversed. It's in the upright. Um, for some of you, it could be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius that you're dealing with. So we have the Three of Wands here. So some of you are sort of waiting for someone to show you that they've changed. It's like this person is telling you this, but you don't want to believe it because you feel like you've been there before with them. Yeah, so you feel like you can't trust this person. The Moon card is here. For some of you, it's a Pisces. And the card that came right after that is the Knight of Cups. So I feel like this person is coming in to offer you love. And I'm also picking up the energy that this person who's coming in to offer you love, they were wounded. So they may have went through a tower moment. Or they could have went through something in their life that's causing them to make a change. Because they see you're making a change and they feel like they don't have a choice but they could because they're going to lose you. But this person is being very secretive about like how they feel. Yes, we have the Knight of Wands. Someone is coming in. They're very passionate. You know, knights are flighty though. So I see why you don't know if you can trust this person because you have the Knight of Cups and you have the Knight of Wands. So someone is offering you love. They're offering you passion, but they're coming in as a knight. And you're like, you know what? You need to show me more because I don't trust you. I've heard it before. I, I saw it before. Maybe this person promised you so many times in the past that they were going to change and they never did. For some of you, it's a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For others, it's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And you're either in your head about this situation or your person is. They're, they're hiding how they really feel deep down inside. I feel like somebody here doesn't want to be vulnerable or they don't, they don't know how to be. It's like they may feel embarrassed to be vulnerable with you because they don't know if it's going to be accepted well or if they're going to look foolish or something. What messages do you have for Taurus? Okay. Yeah, so we have a lot of major arcanas coming out for you, Taurus. We have the devil and we have the hangman. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn that's taking their time. They're stuck. They're not stuck because they don't want this connection. They're stuck because they don't know how to reach you anymore. I feel like you're not the same person. And this person doesn't know how to accept your growth. <laughs> okay? Basically, it's like you've evolved and i feel like the new you is it's like it's not what they're used to so it's like they're wanting the old you back but that person is dead and gone and i feel like they could be feeling some sort of way maybe they have something to do with the old person disappearing or maybe they feel like they treated you wrong and that's why you know, you're no longer the person that you used to be, but they don't know how to accept the new you. They still feel a connection. They still feel bonded with the devil here, but they're stuck as to um, how to like how to come towards you. I feel like this person wants to talk to you about something or they want to be in your company, in your presence, but I, I feel like you intimidate them in some sort of way. Okay, so the four of pentacles just came out of the deck. So this person is just hanging on to you. They don't want to let go. Yeah, they're trying to manifest something here with the magician. For some of you, it could be a Gemini. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? I just feel like your dilemma in April is going to be whether you're going to accept this person back or not. Whether you even want to deal with them anymore. Whether they can accept the new you, your new energy, how you've evolved. And, you know, you've had a lot of spiritual growth. I feel like... Um, You've done a lot of healing, and maybe this person has not. We have strife. So we have the five of uh, five of wands here. I, I still feel like there's going to be conflict between you and this person, but 
the conflict that is going to be, I don't feel like it's going to be an argument. I just feel like you're going to be stuck in your head. That's where I feel like the conflict is going to come from. Whether I should accept this person back or whether I should move on. Okay. And if this is not you feeling this way, Taurus, then this could be your person feeling this way about you. Oh, okay. That wanted to fly out of the deck. So we have the page of pentacles. Somebody doesn't, you know what? You know what I'm picking up on here, Taurus? I'm picking up the energy that you've grown and left someone behind. Someone is still like, it's like they're trying to catch up to your energy and they don't know how because they haven't grown yet. They're still the same person. I feel like this person is still a bit manipulative or maybe um, they feel like they don't measure up to you or something because this person is showing up as a page. Pages still have lessons to learn. They're very immature emotionally um, and sometimes, you know, age-wise as well. So you could be dealing with a younger earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? What messages do you have for Taurus? All right, so we have the Knight of Pentacles. So this person is coming with a solid offer. They are. They're coming slow, though. And I feel like the reason why they're coming slow is because they fear the rejection. They don't know how you're going to um, how you're going to accept what they have to say or if you're going to accept it or if you're going to come um, with a rebuttal or push them away. It's like this person, you know what? I'm also picking up the energy is they want you to make it easy for them. And you're like, hell no. You're like, no. You're either feeling like this person has done too much and... You want them to actually show and prove that they really want this this time. You want them to fight for this connection because I feel like you're tired of fighting for this connection. So you want them to show the energy of wanting this. And um, I feel like they don't know how to do that because they're not used to doing it. But guess what? They're going to do it. We have the nine of cups here and we have the eight of wands. So I feel like whoever you're dealing with could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. If not... I just feel like this person knows that you are their happiness and they are not giving up on the situation. So with the eight of wands, I feel like they're going to come in unexpectedly with some sort of communication, wanting to talk to you, apologizing. Okay. Um, you know, just saying, you know, wanting your forgiveness, wanting for you to accept them the way they are, promising you that they're going to change. And for you to give them a chance to show you is what I'm seeing here. Okay. So those are the messages that I have for your love and relationship reading. I just want to say thank you for coming to my channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lie to Row. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.